I look like an idiot, but I digress. It's not about the hat, it's not about me, it's about the perfume haul that we're about to do today. Uh, why am I doing a perfume haul? I mean, this is insane. I've never bought this amount of perfume in just a short amount of time. Well, things got real. That's all I'm gonna say. In my logic circuits and switching theory class, everything just got real. The exam was terrible. I just... I digress. I went a bit overboard with the perfumes that I... Well, these perfumes have been on my wish list. I've been waiting to have the ample moment to buy these perfumes and I think that this is the right time and some of these are not mine actually. I'm gonna give them as gifts to my mom, my dad, and my sister so this is gonna be fun. But two of these perfumes that I bought are exclusively for me. Like I've been wanting these perfumes for such a long time. Again, these are designer. I plan on going on niche fragrances next year, 2017. Mark my words. I went niche with um, Gerland, but I feel like I am headed towards niche fragrances in 2017. I'll probably start with Akakapa, but not with um, Lactosan Perfuma or hmm, Anik Gutel. Yeah, Anik Gutel makes the best florals ever, so maybe I'll head into niche fragrances. But us to right now, I think I'll be doing uh, designer fragrances. The perfume shrine is right over there, and something new is with the family, the Chanel number no. 19 that I kept with the plastic box right there. Behind me, the other perfumes. So now let's head into the unboxing. This is. I'm out of words why I did this. I look like an idiot with this hat, but. Before we proceed, I'd like to thank each and every subscriber that I have earned. Um, thank you. Thank you for finding me. Thank you for subscribing. I am a boring person. I don't know what made you click that subscribe button, but apparently you did. Uh, so thank you. And if you are new to my channel, you just found me. I'm not an idiot. This hat makes me look like one. I'm not an idiot. but. Please do subscribe to my channel if you are new. Uh, I make fashion videos, but mostly fragrance videos. So now for the unboxing. Now this perfume has been on my wish list for like a long time, and this is... <laughs> you know, you, you guys know I like my powder fragrances, and I like classic fragrances. And I'm always drawn to like classic and old uh, fragrances. This is not like very old, like Chanel number no. five. Old uh, Chanel number no. five has been around since the 1920s. This one has been around since the year 2000, but it's 16 years old, so it's still older than some people. So this is old. This is uh, also a modern classic. Uh, this is inspired by the flower that is growing for the concrete in every city that Kenzo Takada or Takada Kenzo uh, went through. Kenzo flower. I mean, that is nice. That is nice packaging. And if you have been on my channel for a while, you know that I am a whore for packaging. It's just a small bud. It's like growing. Really. This is the biggest bottle that I've ever had. Like, this is the cap that I use for my box. This is not gonna fit. So that's another problem to think about. This one is big, uh, so let's do the unboxing. I open my um, boxes from the bottom. No pun intended. Look, this is a big bottle. Flower by Kenzo, eau de toilette, vaporisateur. And it opens this red inner cardboard. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh yes. Oh lord. Here we go! Just like Lady Gaga said. Here, Here we, go. we go! This perfume is so big, I need to get out of frame. But here it is. This one, um, the Fifi Award. Oh, lord. I have not smelled this, by the way. But I wanted to try it for so long because I've heard so many good things about this perfume. Mind you, this is in the Eau de Toilette concentration. I'm gonna use some index cards so we could get some... Oh, it says Kenzo on the nozzle. Do you, can you see that? Can 
you guys. I'll see you guys. Hello. Um, let's spritz his spritz. Ooh, that sprays a lot. Did you see that? Ooh. Stupid fan. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this Shipra? Ooh, Lord. That is good. That is good. Floral powder. I need this on my skin. We need to try it on my skin, girl. Mm. You guys know I love my powdery fragrances. I love my granny vagines. Uh, coating uh, Charles Gross. I love my granny perfumes. And I love me some florals. I love me some powder. This is good. Enzo. Where have you been? Lord Christ, this is good! Ugh. This is like so big. Like you just won an award or something. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and my sister, and the Lord Jesus Christ for giving me this award. Okay, on to the next perfume. This has been on my wish list as well, but I never got around to buying it because it's expensive. It's a Chanel. I love my Chanel's. I love my Chanel's. But I also love my bank account, but something goes to shit, so you know you need to treat yourself to one thing or another. I don't think some my exam didn't go that bad, but Here we go. Still. Oh, I removed the plastic. It's Chanel Chance. Oh my god, I'm the original, the eau de toilettes. Now guys, if you're gonna purchase Chanel Chance Classic, you have to make sure you purchase the Eau de Toilette concentration because the eau de parfums are not that good. Ooh! Ooh, yes! Queen, yes! Chanel. Chance. Ooh. Okay. I've been wanting this perfume for a long, long time. Wow! I never... I never remembered it smelling this way. I have tried Eau de Parfum. Have I tried Eau de Toilette? No. I'm not sure, so let's do some... Spritzy spritz, you guys wanna see me spritzy spritzy, but the stupid fan down here. Ooh, that's a lot. Ooh. You know what? I could have just bought Coco Mademoiselle because this smells like Coco Mademoiselle. Where are you at, bitch? These two? They smell the same. Here oh, we go! Mademoiselle smells like fashion and face powder and grapefruit, chipra. Ugh, so good. Well, this one smells like the younger sister of Coco Mademoiselle. Nonetheless, still very good. Fresh, powdery, watery, but underneath there, there's like some florals. At the top, there's this citrusy note, but it's like really thin. It's like spread thin. And then behind that is like a uh, dusty, really dusty talcum powder, but like fruity baby powder, but not like overly powdery. Like the Chanel powdery. This is a Chanel. I didn't expect it to be this good. Because it's chance. It's like marketed towards girls. I'm not saying that it's bad because it's marketed towards girls. It's like, please, the younger generation, you just need to be pleasing. It doesn't need to be complex. And this is good. This is good. Chanel chance. And I look like an idiot. The next perfumes are for my mom my dad and my sister, I wanted to give them a gift because I gave myself a gift. Why wouldn't I give them a couple gifts? Uh, but I asked permission and I said I want to do this video. I want to test it in front of you guys. I have tried some of them, some of these not yet. So we'll proceed. And Christian Dior. But you know I love my Christian Dior fragrances. So I did it from the bottom. I don't get it. <laughs> I'll do unboxings by removing perfumes from the box, but not removing the plastic. Cause it's like a hassle. Look, I'm struggling. I cannot remove the plastic. Ah, come on. Oh, you can see the um, houndstooth pattern on the sides. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can. Um, but the houndstooth pattern was actually... Uh, placed in a couturier's fashion house for the first time with Christian Dior when he went to... Ooh, that's good. 
house to prepare. When he went to Scotland and he was so inspired, he put it on women. So let's open the box. Come on, you can do it. Okay, we open the box. Right here. Hello. Mm, I can smell it from the box. From the box. Hello. Hello, mademoiselle. Ooh, this is classic. This looks exactly like Blooming Wookie. Oh, my mom is gonna love this. Yeah. Yeah. I bought wisely. My mom is gonna love this. But I'm gonna try it first on paper so that spritzy spritzy down here. I am so excited because my mom buys me Chanel and Dior, no questions asked. Oh my god, she will love this. Yes, 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 yes. I give it to you. This is easy. There's like citrus, tangy, tangy, tangy citrus just to grab your attention. And then in the middle, there's like this unstable kind of fruit. Maybe it's raspberry. Lots of raspberries. And then some florals dancing beneath that fruit. And in the bottom, in the bottom, like sweet and creamy. Oh, my mom is gonna love this one. She is gonna love this one. That is Miss Dior Sherry Uri Toilet. This is good, you guys. You should try this. It's like very fruity, but also very fresh. Mm. The face for this is Natalie Portman. Uh, I wanted to get her to Miss Dior absolutely blooming, but no, that's just, that's just way too sweet. She doesn't like sweet fragrances. Okay, now we are going towards my gift from my father. Don't worry, they are not watching this video. Hopefully, they don't know I make YouTube videos, so I'm good. Now, I was choosing between Terre de Mez, did I say that right? Terre de Mez and, um... What's this? Bulgari Man in Black. And it was between something... Who is the spiciest of them all? So, uh, I said, well, none of them are spicy, you know. Man in Black just turns out to be a sweet fragrance. And, wow, I'm so excited to give this to him. Well, I didn't... I suck. I suck. I didn't show you the box. It's Blue de Chanel, Powdery. Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. You guys know I love my Chanel's. And it's Blue de Chanel. I've smelled this before. Mm. I'm not gonna give this to my dad. This is mine. I want... I want this for myself. No, just kidding. I'm giving this to my dad. This is so good. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Dad is going to love this one and the magnetic cap. Oh lord, please. We are like crazy for packaging. <laughs> magnetic cap. Bloop, bloop. That is blue de Chanel. Spicy, but not like... But not like overtly spicy. Also not very douchebaggy like Aqua Di Gio. By now you already know I have an inherent hate for Aqua Di Gio. It's like very aquatic. There's the sea, you know, but not like... Uh, salt water, like, is it salt water? More like waterfalls, yes. Like waterfalls, and like, can you guys imagine uh, the water falling from the waterfalls, and then the moment the water hits the rocks at the bottom, there's like um, these spritzy spritzy small mists of water. That's how I imagine this scent is, it's like fleeting. Fleeting, aggressive, manly, do you know that inside, it is soft. It's just water. Put the momentum on it. Put force. And then add some, some brutal kind of um, bludgeoning through the, um, the rocks. I don't know what I'm talking about. But just imagine waterfalls. That's what I imagine with Blue Dish now. This is good. This is good. Oh, my dad will love this one. That's Blue Dish Chanel, And for my mom, it's Miss Dior. Oh, I didn't notice that! 
The houndstooth pattern. It's like underneath the bottle. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind over here. Now this one is for the sister. Um, she's not she's not addicted to fragrances, but when we went to um, one of the department stores here in uh, Quezon City, um, I was purchasing Narciso Rodriguez for her. Narciso Rodriguez for her Lebsulu. And she saw the bottle for this one and she was like, oh, it's so cute. From that moment, I said, oh, this girl is interested. So I bought her Mark Jacobs Daisy. This is like, I'm not gonna purchase this for myself, obviously. Like, like why? Why would I purchase this for myself? I don't even like the decadence one. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, I'm catching up on you guys. I'm removing the plastic. I'm showing you the box. Uh, I did a really bad mishap with the blue dish now, but I'm trying to get, trying to get better. You know, I'm new here. I'm new here. Mind you guys, I asked permission that I open this and smell this, but I didn't tell them what I got for them. I just sold them, I bought them for perfume. And then I want to try them before I give... Oh my god, this is the cutest bottle ever. Oh, I thought this was acrylic. Oh, it is acrylic! Here's the bottle. Isn't that cute? I've seen this so many times in the department stores, but I never wanted to buy it for myself because... Again, why? Why would I buy this for myself? I'm expecting a beautiful floral fragrance over here. Let's hope it is that way. Oh! Oh, that is floral. Is these how daisies smell like? really gorgeous. No. I've yet to form an opinion about this scent. Let's try it on skin. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just... I'm not sure my sister will like this. It's because I've never smelled this one. I've been avoiding this scent for a long time. Yeah. I guess she will like this, I don't know. Okay, standouts for this Paul is definitely Miss Dior Cherie. Oh my god. This one is good. I don't know why I should have bought this for myself. Oh, that is good. That is just good. Another standout is Blue de Chanel. Yes. Yes, I made the right choices. I want to try Chanel Chance on my skin. You know, because we didn't try it, so... a lot. This one is also really good. Oh, I can just imagine, you know, why everyone was like addicted to opium. Opium poppy, I mean. This is like so big, you can hit someone with it. This is good. Yeah. Now this was a successful haul. I am so happy I went in for the purchases. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. This was a crazy, crazy haul, and I like to continue doing this, you know. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and do subscribe to my channel for more content like this, fragrance, fashion, vlogs, things that I do. And when I'm not on YouTube, I am on Instagram, at not underscore Ray. Goodbye, and be kind to one another. Bye-bye!